this is Andrew Terranova with Let's Make Robots, and today I'm doing a quick test of a uh, little robot, a little spurt bot. It's a little line follower. Spurt stands for School Projects Using Robot Technology, a concept introduced by the University of Rostock in Germany. Here we have the build diagram for the little robot. Basically, you take a popsicle stick. Actually, here's the robot. So. You can see, actually it's a scale drawing. So normally this motor is run by the, this wheel is run by the left hand motor. This wheel doesn't go on, actually it just started. <laughs> so we touch the power together. So you can see this wheel turning, this wheel not, but then if I move this very close to a white background, how about a pure white background? And it starts to turn it, so black off, white on, black off, white on. Yeah. And you can see how the motor shaft is thick in there. Uh, with, um, hopefully you can see that. It's just a few, maybe I think three layers of shrink wrap. Those are um, bearings from inline skates to simple three volt motors. You have to get one that's uh, not too fast so it has enough torque and not too much speed. So get something that's uh, 2,500 to 8,000 RPM free running at three volts. Don't get anything that's like tens of thousands of RPM. And I gave it a little personality with antennas. There we go. The um, switch is simply connecting wires. And off it goes. Here's the schematic I'm using and uh, what you can see here is it's using a uh, infrared reflective sensor. This is the QRD 1114 and basically it's an infrared diode with a photo transistor in, a pa in the same package. So uh, 3 volt battery connected uh, feeding the infrared LED and this is a current limiting resistor that goes down the ground back to the battery and then um, when it senses a reflection the phototransistor turns on um, at this point we have a 10 k ohm uh, resistor which pulls this down to ground when it's not on and then this feeds the input of a NPN transistor um, the emitter goes to ground, um, and what this does is it controls the right-hand motor. The left-hand motor is connected directly to the battery, so as soon as you switch this on, the left motor starts turning. When uh, the QRD senses a reflection, it turns on the right-hand motor. And you can see um, there's the QRD mounted dead bug underneath the popsicle stick. There's the NPN transistor. Pin 1 of the QRD gets connected to the left pin motor. There's a left motor, but, uh, pin 1, which runs back to pin 1 of, mo of the right hand motor, and that goes to 3 volt power. Basically a, a small resistor um, goes from pin 1 to 3. Pin 3 is the uh, diode, the IR diode, that um, is sort of the, the transmitter part, the emitter part of the sensor. So power comes into pin 1 for the detector part of the sensor, goes through the resistor, and then into pin 3, which is goes into the emitter, and then pin 4 is the other side of the emitter. That goes back to the emitter of the transistor, and then back to ground. Uh, this resistor is actually mounted directly on top crosswise between pin 2 and 4, that is a 10k pull down resistor, which again pulls down to ground, as you saw in the schematic. This is a 1.2 resistor, 1.2k ohm resistor, going from the base to pin 2. Moving down, you can see the left motor is again wired directly from 3 volts to ground. The right motor with the shaft thickened so that it'll spin the wheel a little faster because because of the voltage drop of the circuitry up here, the right motor needs to be sped up a little bit. 
you actually want when the when the sensor triggers the right motor to turn on you actually want it to um, make the robot go a little faster so I'm gonna uh, hopefully bring these to Maker Faire so if someone shows up at the Let's Make Robots table at Maker Faire and they want to sit down with us and make a robot we'll show them how to make a simple line follower great so thanks a lot thanks for watching bye bye